Hi, my name is Grace Bukachi and you're watching Sitam Church online. Stop complaining. Yeah, you had me right. Why are we always complaining? Why not turn it to compliments and to being grateful? The reality is things are hard. It is harsh. Um, we had to adjust our lifestyles. We've had to consider doing things a little bit differently. But I've found myself alerting myself and guiding many around me. Stop whining. Yeah, it is not easy. And in this season in Kenya, the, it's, the COVID cases are going up and it's uncomfortable and there's fear. And I'm reminded of 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. The Bible says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. And sometimes we complain because we forget that God's word tells us not to be afraid. There are many verses I can think of that the Lord said, do not be afraid. But the minute fear takes control, then we find avenues and we find things to make us complain. So... Here's Habakkuk. This is what he says. Chapter 3 and verse 17. And I'm reading from the message version. It says, Though the cherry trees don't blossom and the strawberries don't ripen, though the apples are worm eaten and the wheat fields stunted, though the sheep pens are shipless and the cattle bands empty, I'm singing joyful praise to God. I'm turning cartwheels of joy to my Savior God. Counting on God's rule to prevail, I take heart and gain strength. I run like a deer. I, like, I feel like I'm a king of the mountain. What interesting statements before those verses at the end that um, I'm singing joyful praise. That even though there's no fruitfulness, I recently planted a patch of um, spinach and skumas and cabbage and, and, and what are they called? Beetroots. And I'm really grateful that they look like they are blossoming and they are looking good. But I had also planted some cassavas and guess what? They didn't quite look, they didn't quite catch. And as my little kitchen garden, some of the plants shika, some of the plants get to grow and some don't. Perhaps you're in that situation and you're a fearful parent. Perhaps you've not been able to connect with your child. You've not been able to connect with your spouse. And so it is easy to complain rather than to say, Lord, I'm still going to praise you. I find great joy. I find overwhelming energy just being able to sing praises to God, even in this season. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. Stop complaining. You heard me. Just tell the Lord, I need you. I can do this with you. Even when there's no fruitfulness, I'm trusting you. Maybe you're not at that place and you really would want to complain. Let me know about it. Yes, right now, inbox and say, Pastor Grace, I don't understand how. I don't know either, but I have chosen not to complain, but to thank God. So can I pray with you? Dear Lord Jesus, my friend is struggling right now and they are finding that it's easier to complain rather than to be grateful. I plead your precious blood over their life and I ask Sovereign Lord that you will give them an ability to sing or to listen to songs that lift their spirit and they will find that instead of complaining, instead of entertaining fear in this very uh, unstable season, they will find joy in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please subscribe. Let us know whether you're finding this season really tough. How can we help you? Looking forward to seeing you next time on Seatum Church Online.